All right guys, we are back in my bedroom and I just, I actually really liked the way my last video turned out so I thought I would film in here again. Um, we actually just got power back so, um, but I just thought it'd be fun to kind of film in here in some natural light and today I am gonna be doing a very natural, kind of more no makeup makeup look so I thought filming in natural light would be quite appropriate. So um, hopefully you're having a great day so far. If you're not, I hope that this video makes it a little bit better, kind of helps you relax and escape from your kind of daily hustle and bustle. Um, but before we get into the video, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. Y'all know I've already got a nice big cup of hot coffee. Oh, it's much needed this morning. Um, so make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, and let's get into it. Cheers. All right, so I've already applied my sunscreen. Um, I use the Pyeong Kong Yule ATO Mild Sun Cream. I think this is an SPF of 45 or something like that. For some reason, it doesn't actually say it on here, but it says it on the website. So this is my daily sunscreen. And then I also applied the Good Molecules Yerba Mate, Yerba Mate, Yerba Mate wake up eye gel. I've been really enjoying this as well. Um, so we're going to dive in and I want to do one more prep step and I've been doing this before makeup and I really like it. So this is the Pyeong Kong Yule Balancing Gel. This is like your final step of your skincare routine. It's going to seal in all the moisture. This is what I do in my skincare routine. Um, I go between this and their moisture ampule. They basically do the same thing. I think this one is for... One is for oilier skin types, one's for drier skin types, but I've been using this in my makeup routine, just keeping it in my bag, honestly, just because of the packaging, because it's in this nice plastic tube packaging, whereas my moisture ampule is in a glass bottle, so it's hard to keep it in my makeup bag, but it just looks like a gel, and it's actually kind of like curdly and goopy, which is fine, because it does blend out but I'm just gonna blend this all over my skin really press it in and it creates a really nice tacky base for makeup um, this makes for a wonderful primer so I was just using it in my skincare routine but then I discovered that it's actually quite lovely as a primer so I get a lot of questions about this brand they are a Korean brand and their website is not in English so I order everything from yes style yes styles website is in English um, so uh, I will link this below but that's where I purchase all of my Pyeong Kong Yule products all right my dog is gonna join us okay go, go lay down right, so for foundation I pulled out my bare minerals uh, original liquid mineral foundation uh, this is a really beautiful lightweight foundation I did review this so um, I'll link it um, but today I'm using the shade light beige 09 and I actually love applying this with my fingertips I think it applies better with your fingertips so I'm just going to kind of rub it on my face almost like a moisturizer and I think this is actually the way that they say to apply it. They say to like sweep it and then pat it in. So I'm just going to spread this out all over my skin. All right, so once I've kind of distributed it, distributed it, it, <laughs> I'm going to take my fingers and just pat it in, make sure there's no the streaks just really press it into the skin all right and then for concealer I'm going to use my Kosas revealer concealer and I use this in the shade 3.2 and I'm just going to do little dots I don't need a lot of coverage and I want to keep my makeup pretty light so just put it on some spots and then I'm just going to use my finger to blend this out. All right, and then I'm gonna take this damp Eco Tool sponge, which I love these. If you see these at your local drugstore, um, I think Ulta sells them too. Pick it up; it's so so nice. 
Um, and these are their new biodegradable sponges. But I'm just going to go across my whole face and just pick up any excess product. So I want my makeup to be really light. Don't want a ton of product sitting on the skin. All right, so I'm gonna do some cream bronzer. This product needs no introduction. Um, but if you are new to my channel, <laughs> this is the Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. And I'm taking it on a Fit Glow Double-Ended double Teddy Cheek Brush. I think that's what it's called. But this is one of my favorite brushes. I keep it in my little makeup, or makeup, my little brush bag that one of y'all got me. I love this thing. I keep all my brushes in here. Uh, those are just like my everyday brushes and this is one of my favorites. It's nice because you've got one side where you can apply whatever product you want. Foundation, blush, bronzer, highlighter. You can do powders. And then you can take the other side and I use that to kind of blend out whatever I used, which is usually bronzer. And just kind of soften it up. Yeah, I'm not doing contouring like my last video. I'm just kind of sweeping this across the face for some color. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of powder and today I'm gonna use the new Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I did a full review wear test on this powder, so if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's a good one and uh, the, the day that I did this wear test, is a little, a little different than normal, so um, it ended up being a really good wear test. So I'm just going to take this on a smaller brush. This is an Morphe M536, and I'm just going to set the T-zone. I'm not going to set my whole face. Um, I actually like this Bare Minerals foundation, just kind of when it lives its best life without powder. And because it is so cold here, I just feel like I don't need to set my whole face, so gonna pinpoint this and I'm using the shade feathery which is I feel like my best match honestly all three shades that I swatched in that video match me because it's so sheer there's basically no coverage or color to this powder but I prefer feathery all right so I'm gonna do a little bit of blush and I'm gonna use my antonym highlighting blush in the shade Lily I talked about this in my last video and so right after I filmed that video, I actually pulled it out to make sure that I used it for my next video because um, this is one that I forget about. I love their baked blushes, their matte baked blushes, but I always forget about these. Um, so this is in the shade Lily. And I'm just going to take this all over the cheek and blend it backwards. Just kind of use this very liberally. And just for a little extra glow, I'm going to take my Merit Day Glow Highlighting Stick in the shade Kava. I'm just going to use this with my finger. It was definitely my favorite product I tried from Merit. And I did review on this brand too, so if you want to check that out. I feel like I've been doing a lot of reviews lately, but I also feel like there have been a lot of launches lately. So for brows, I'm going to use my PYT Brow Pencil. And I think this is in the shade Black. I feel like it used to be called Warm Black, and I think they changed the shade names. Maybe I'm just imagining all of it, but I'm pretty sure this is black. And um, I don't mention this too often, but I do have a 25% off discount code with PYT. So if you're ever interested in any of their products, this is my favorite brow pencil. Um, but their eyeshadow palettes are really beautiful as well. So um, I will link that down below, but I know I don't mention it very much, but if you are curious and you are wanting to try it, I think 25% off is a pretty good deal. All right, and I'm going to take my favorite Got To Be Glued eyebrow gel and perk up these brows. All right, so for the eyes, I thought I would just do a really quick one and done eyeshadow look. So I'm going to use my Kosas 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Globe. This is one of my favorite shades. And these are super easy to work with. So I just apply all over the lid, through the crease. And then you can definitely use a brush, but because the shade is so subtle on me, I'm just going to use my finger to blend it out. But I actually bought this shade um, in a 
set. I think it was called their Mixed Metals Trio. And I thought it was limited edition, but I saw it on their website the other day. So um, I'll link it below because um, it comes with Supreme, which is a really like almost like chunkier glitter gold. And then it comes with Astronaut, which is a really pretty silvery blue shade. So if you've been wanting to try these out, I think it's a cool set. And I love the shade Globe. All right, so for mascara, I'm gonna use the Bite Upswing Mascara. I love this one. All right, so I made a mess on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna let it dry and then I will clean it up. All right, so for the lip, I'm just gonna do something really easy. Do a little lip liner I'm using MAC Strip Down. It's just one I have in my makeup bag. All right, and then I'm just gonna do a gloss. I'm gonna use my PYT uh, Skinny Dip plump, uh, Plumping Gloss, I think that's what they're called. This is an exact, if not an exact, like the closest thing to the new Lawless Plumping Glosses. This feels exactly the same. It um, has like a minty sensation. So if you've been wanting to try the Lawless one, this one's more affordable and it's basically the same thing. Honestly, this one isn't as sticky as the Lawless one. So if you don't like a very sticky gloss, you might like this one better. The clear one is the dupe. They have other shades as well. So if you like tinted glosses, I've honestly just been wearing clear gloss almost every single day. I feel like tinted glosses get very messy on me. And um, I don't know, they're just, they just kind of go everywhere. I mean, glosses go everywhere anyway, but because it's tinted, you can really see it and it just kind of gets all my clothes and things. So I've been really liking a clear gloss just with a little bit of lip liner so you kind of define the lips but it's just super easy to reapply so yeah definitely check this one out this is really really good and uh yeah it's basically the exact same thing as the lawless one all right guys that completes this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you've been uh just in kind of enjoying these more casual videos um but we'll probably be in my normal setup soon and this week has definitely been rough not because of the internet or the power like those are yes they are very difficult and um you know i i was definitely we were definitely extremely fortunate compared to other people so i don't want to complain about our situation because we had it very very easy um but one thing i did learn this week just seeing all the videos and everything is um you know texas is strong we are we're a different kind of animal we have a grit and i'm not saying that other states don't have this but there is definitely a sense of pride that comes with being a texan i am a native texan i'm born and raised here so um it's really cool seeing how people have been helping each other out um, and just seeing the compassion that people have been showing each other. And um, that's what I, just what I love about Texas. People talk about that Southern hospitality, and it is very true. Um, so it's been really cool seeing how people are helping each other out and helping each other with groceries and water and housing families, like housing strangers they don't even know, opening up their home up to people so that they have some food and some water and some heat. Um, so it's been really cool to see that. And I just have to say that I'm so proud to live in this amazing state. Um, this is why we chose to live here. We could have lived anywhere and we choose to live here. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so, so blessed to live in this amazing state. And for all of you other Texans out there, I'm sure you feel the same way. So um, anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's always a blessing to be here to film videos and chat with y'all. And um, yeah, it, it means a lot to me. So thank you. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Broken roses, I can't focus, I can't focus. Something precious like you.